You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to our continuing coverage here at CES 2014. I'm John P. I'm Renee Ritchie. Yes, and uh, we've got all kinds of excellent coverage coming at you. By the way, just a reminder, in case you're watching this pre-recorded, we have a whole ton of giveaways. Yep. And you can head on over to geekbeat.tv forward slash giveaway or giveaways. Either one, they fixed it, so it's you can do it both super ways. Super easy to enter. You have no excuse not to do it. That's true. So lots, I mean, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of awesomeness. So uh, do it. hop in there and make that happen. Do it. We are, you know what? I'm a little sad. Why, I'm, a, I'm both happy have and sad. Have you lost your smile? No, I have not. <laughs> okay. But I'm happy and sad because this is our last interview of the day. I know. But it's uh, a great one. But it's a great one because it's Ryan from Samsung, and we've got tablets. Woo and Ryan. And Ryan. And Ryan. And yeah, Ryan. I know you Sorry. just want the tablets. It's fine. <laughs> well, you know, we're big fans of the Samsung. And you guys don't know it, but I have been using the entire show. The, I've been using the Samsung. This is my Galaxy Tab 3 8-inch that we're using for the run sheet so I can see who's yep. coming up next and blah, blah, yeah. blah. So uh, what you have all kinds of tablets laid out here. Absolutely. So this has been a pretty busy show for us on the mobile side. We actually announced four new tabs. That's a lot. It I, is. I saw the Android Central team come <laughs> out of that room in <laughs> shock and awe, Ryan. So what's really cool about this is it's the pro line. And I mean, much leaked before we actually announced it yesterday. <laughs> uh, but what's awesome about these is they are at the high end of the market. So this is, they're all. Uh, WQXGA screens, 2560 by 1600 resolution. That's amazing. Wait, can you say that number even again? The, even the baby one. Even the baby one. So, 2560 by 1600. My monitor on my desk isn't that resolution. Yeah, and these will look way better than that anyway. That's <laughs> <laughs> all the pixels. It's all, all the pixels are belong to Samsung. <laughs> well played. Uh, so what we've got is we actually announced uh, three new tabs. So in the Tab Pro series, the 12.2 inch. 10.1 and 8.4. And as you said, all with the same high resolution screens. And then we also announced the brand new Note 12.2, or Note Pro 12.2, rather. Um, same functionality as all the tabs, plus the S Pen. But not that resolution. Yes, that resolution. Well, no, you get Are the you pen kidding or me? the pixels, John? The I pen know. Or the no, pixels. no, you can no, have both. You, you can, can have but, both. But you pen uh, and pixels. But ah. honestly, that used to be a trade off. You yep. couldn't do both of those things. You'd either get higher resolution or you could get the ability to write on your screen and all that stuff. Yep. So, no, now you've got it. Wow. All in one package. It sounds almost greedy, Ryan. You know, yeah. I just want to give you the best technology yeah, possible. That's right. Well, so, I, I don't mind being greedy. I'm okay with that. So this is the Note right here. Yeah, the Note so 12.2. Yeah, Note Pro 12.2. Why is it 12.2? Yeah, I was going to ask, what, how do you decide the sizes? Because 12.2, if you hear it, like, why not 0.3? Why not 0.1? What's why not just 12? Yeah. So quite frankly. Because that's 0.2 more, is it? That's right. <laughs> point 0.2 more. I need to have a point something. Yeah. No, um, it's really more of an esoteric engineering argument than right. anything else about panel densities and those kinds There's of things. There's a lot of people with a lot of blanks running around finding the perfect size, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fair. Exactly. OK, so we start out with a very high resolution screen. Tell mm -hmm. me what else this thing will do. OK, so not surprisingly, there'll be Wi-Fi and connected versions, 3G, 4G, LTE. Um, they become powered depending on your wireless configuration, either with our own Exynos 5 chip in the connected versions or Snapdragon 800 in the non-connected. So what that means, super fast performance, great graphics, high resolution. Um, and what we really wanted to do, and, and if you guys don't mind, I'd love to show you a couple of features. Please, please. please do. We would love that. <laughs> so first things first, because we've got these great high resolution screens, we wanted to take advantage of all that real estate. And so what we've got here is what we're calling the Magazine UX. And if you're familiar with the Note 3 or some of the new Note tabs, um, we had a feature called My Magazine, which is an optional way to kind of view your information and that stuff. So with these tabs, the Pro Series, we've actually gone ahead and integrated that into the main UI. So the UI you use out of the box is actually this uh, magazine-like layout with big, useful tiles updated in real time. 
and pre-configured out of the box in three um, different ways. So this one is the personal page, shows you your weather, what's in your inbox, got access to some of the other things that you probably want. Go over to the business page, it's got your schedule, it's showing you business news, it's got access to the office uh, suite and some other cool features like remote PC and WebEx and some other stuff. Um, remind me about remote PC because it's pretty cool. Um, and then we've got your social feeds page. So basically integrating your Twitter, your Facebook, and all that kind of stuff. And that's important because geeks might care deeply about the bits, but my mom just wants something she can use in her hands. Well, and that was it. We basically wanted to do something that made these things really easy to get to. I mean, we're not talking to just geeks anymore with these products. They've reached the mainstream. Oh, yeah. And so we want to do something that's like, yeah, I've got this big piece of glass. A grid of icons probably doesn't look I mean, that frankly, good Frankly, if they wanted a computer, they would have bought a computer. They came to you for something next. Exactly, exactly. And that's what we wanted to do with these pro line of tablets is say, you know, you're, you're pretty comfortable with the tablet today. I mean, most consumers are using it for entertainment, consuming content, watching videos, all that stuff that we use our tablets for. But very few consumers are really using them for those more productivity-oriented tasks. Yep. These people are still going back to their laptop or their desktop to do their email, to um, do office documents and that kind of stuff. Because it's hard still. Well, By the way, a couple of quick questions. Uh, Monty made a comment, Samsung adding Windows features to Android. That's funny. Um, <laughs> Guest 04285, can those screens be changed or not? And, and along those lines, uh, Beck Jr., yep. what if I wanted less on my screen? Can we customize it? Yeah, absolutely. Fully customizable. That's actually what I'm showing here right now. You can have up to five of these Magazine UX home screens. Um, and kind of selecting what you want on screen is as easy as checking, tapping, checking it, and it starts pre-populating the page. Nice. Automatically resized. Now, having said that, if you want, you can do the same thing here that you can always do with Android. Okay. So long press, resize, um, or if you want to just go back to a more traditional icon-like layout, you can absolutely do that. How about the, uh, uh, we talked about the screen on these things, and when we talk about uh, giving all this tablet-like, newspaper-like functionality, mm -hmm. what I've noticed is oftentimes that'll slow down, like it'll slow down a tablet or a phone. Yep. If you load it up with too much stuff, um, how, what kind of uh, other stats can you tell us about these devices? Yes, yeah, so they're all running uh, Android KitKat 4.4. Okay. Um, the processor, so for example, our Exynos 5 is an octa-core processor, so it's a big, small configuration. So you've got, I think, four cores running at 1.9 and four cores running at 1.3. That's important because not everything needs big you know, CPU behind it. Well, and that, that's it exactly. So when you start talking about these devices, yeah, they've got big batteries, but they've also got really big screens, and so that kind of optimization and performance is important because you don't want it dying after an hour. Yeah, no matter how good the tablet is, if it's dead, you cannot use it. Exactly. So we're looking at about 10 hours battery life, regardless of which screen size you're using with these. So watch five hour or five movies if you're stuck at JFK. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <Right. to> CES. <laughs> How about uh, RAM and storage yep. so, and things like that? Yeah, so three gigs of RAM. Oh, nice. In them. And uh, the base memory configuration is 32 okay. gig. Uh, also be available in 64. And of course, because it is a Samsung product, it is micro SD expandable as Good. well. And what other I.O. do we have on this? Can we plug in a v, uh, HDMI? What do we what This do we is do? where things start to get pretty cool. Okay. So it's actually got USB 3.0. It does. Yeah. So um, let's see, where is it on this guy? Right there on the side. OK. So you can use micro USB or USB 3.0 to connect to your PC. What else is cool about the USB port is we've actually got an accessory called, well, the appropriately named USB LAN hub. <laughs> OK. Uh, what's cool about this is you actually plug it in. You get USB expansion ports. So and Ethernet? And Ethernet. Oh, okay. Imagine that. Gigabit well, it, Ethernet, it's, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Uh, cool. So very much if you wanted to connect it to your, like, Old school network. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> hard I mean, line. And I also would assume that uh, that means that if I wanted to, let's say, use this in a dockable kind of situation, like I'm going to carry it around and use it as a tablet. Yep. But when I go to the office or something, I could have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. Absolutely. I could plug that into the hub, and I've got gigabit Ethernet. I've got uh, a screen, a keyboard, a mouse, and I could use it like a kind of a little com Android based computer. Yeah, absolutely. So it'll su fully support Bluetooth keyboards. We've got a Bluetooth mouse, mouse that will be available for it as well. 
Um, so being able to actually like have the cursor on screen, click things, do all that stuff. Uh, MHL for HDMI out if you're so inclined. Nice. So very much, yeah, that dockable model where you take this on the go. But it's draw. still a note, so it's got a pen. It's got the S and pen. And I can write all Absolutely. over it. Absolutely, yeah. And but I don't see a pen, Ryan. Oh, well, here it is. <laughs> wow. Imagine that. Yeah. It's like magic. Um, so, so uh, okay, I, uh, let me ask about a price point. I, I'm, I'm talking specifically about this 12.2 right now. You like How that 12.2. I do. I have a very, I have very specific things in mind for it, okay? <laughs> so I want to know how much it's going to cost me to start with. So we haven't announced pricing yet. Uh, okay. It'll be available sometime in Q1 globally, so sometime in the next three months. Um, but keep in mind that this will be positioned as a premium tablet at the top of our range. I'm just wondering if it's going to be over $999. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan is on your side of that battle. <laughs> I think that, uh, yeah, so I, I, I'm curious and I'm also wondering, because the screen is so high res, mm -hmm. um, is the pen also a, um, similarly high resolution? I mean, I'm thinking about like Wacom tablets yep. and things, you know, they're very good. They have multi-pressure yep. sensitivity and stuff. Well, you've got a full-on digitizer in this, yeah. right? Well, yeah, right now, um, the, all the notes that I've tried, they cannot compete in, from a precision perspective with one of those. Yeah. And I'm just waiting for the one that I can carry and actually draw yeah. and sketch and, 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 and have results that I would find acceptable. Yeah, no. Is I, this going to be the one? I think it's Or not quite. Well, we're almost, we're still almost there. I think we're almost there. Okay. Now, I haven't done a back-to-back -back comparison yep. on these, so I don't know for sure. Yep. Um, but we, I mean, the challenge is we're recognizing a pen nub on a high resolution visual screen. Yes. And so there's always going to be some interface difference between what you, the user, intends and what shows up. I mean, that's just, yep. we're learning to use these yep. things as, as consumers. So it'll be great. It'll be closer to anything than anything you've used. Probably a much better experience. Well, no, definitely a much better experience than what you've got on your notes today in okay. terms of performance, accuracy, pressure sensitivity. I mean, keep in mind, this is now like our fourth generation of these devices. I know, so yeah. So we've continued to refine the technology quite a bit. Yeah, I, I, I really, I, I think you guys are going to put them, I, I think you're going to put digitizers out of business with tablets. Well, I, even I with the Note, it was the best digitizer you could carry mm -hmm. around with you. I'd been dreaming about that for years. I, I like, I, I, I do use this Note, and I enjoy it, and, and it is good for stuff, but there's two problems with it. One, it's just too small yep. for me to draw on. Even though you can zoom in and out and all that, it's too small. And two, it's not quite yeah. there with the precision that I would need. But that size, and if it offers improvements, could be something an artist could use, you know, yeah. or I could use for Photoshop editing. I mean, at that resolution mm -hmm. now, I could take yeah. photos, put them on yeah. there, and retouch them very nicely if I have a, the appropriate application for it. Well, and if so, that's a great segue because if you don't have the appropriate application, what you can actually do is remote PC back into your computer that's sitting on your desk and access all of your desktop applications there. Nice as well as drag and drop files between the two. What's great is even like, from the note to this line, you are making people whose primary device is mobile it, it, better able to do the stuff that they want to yep. do. Well, that, that is literally the point of the pro line of products, right? It's to say, you've got a bunch of folks that use tablets for a very specific set of stuff. There are a bunch of people who use PCs for a, a specific set of stuff. How do we start to move those tablet uses closer to the PC uses? Yeah. And that way, when they're close enough, right now there's a gap. Like yep. For someone like me, there's a gap between what I can use this for and what I can use yep. that for. And if we could just close the gap, then, then uh, you can use it for a lot more. Maybe not replace it, but, mm -hmm. but, but there are 50% more times when I could just turn to that and not have to break up Absolutely. the Absolutely. I mean, like, I think all of us probably probably the laptop, at least one tablet, at least one phone. These guys like stuff. nine phones each. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the interesting thing for me and the example I like to use in terms of making these relevant um, is, is on a plane. So I hate taking my laptop out on a plane. Yeah, it's painful. But I also hate doing email on a tablet. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. So this is the first device where I've said, ah, I can actually consider pulling this out. The screen's big enough that I can touch type on it effectively. Um, we've got cool keyboard shortcuts and stuff on the keyboard here. So you can do like Control A, Control C, all that the stuff. Stuff that you're, you're familiar with. Yeah, so it's yep. a lot more like using those kind of productivity tools you're familiar with. Nice. 
We could sit here and talk about these all day. I, I, I we are about wait. to. <laughs> I can't wait until they come out. But we are way over time, and we're out of time. And we appreciate you guys sticking around with us for all this coverage here today at CES. Um, thanks so much for coming no out, showing us the Samsung tablets. You guys, thanks a lot. And we will catch up with you tomorrow as we continue our live coverage here at CES. I'm John B. I'm Renee Ritchie. We're out of here. See ya.